Good day guys. So this will be the part 3 of the video for the concept and code provision for concrete crack and uncrack. And this will be our last video for uh, the concrete crack and uncrack code provisions. So start natin yung discussion on the cracking moment. So si cracking moment kasi siya yung uh, limitation para masabi natin kung magka-crack na yung concrete or hindi. So, ito yung magiging basihan natin kung tatanggalin natin yung concrete on tension side or hindi. So, this is under NCP section 424 which is entitled the serviceability requirements and it is under 424.2.3.5 So, hindi ko kinuha yung buong provision ng 424.2.3.5 kasi uh, that includes the effective moment of inertia kasi part si cracking moment ng pag-compute ng effective moment of inertia So, dito kinuha ko lang yung equation ng cracking moment which is MCR is equal to FRIG over YT. So, yung MCR dyan, so, the value MCR, okay, okay. So, yung MCR, MCR natin dyan, yan yung cracking moment. Then yung FR, yan yung kaninang modulus of rupture. Yung IG, uh, which is hindi yan yung Instagram, yan yung gross moment of inertia. Then yung Y sub T. Na yan ngayon yung distance natin from the neutral axis to the extreme tension fiber. So, NA. NA stands for the neutral axis to the extreme tension fiber. So, syempre, sa cracking moment, ang involved lang is yung concrete part, uh, concrete part ng reinforced concrete natin. So, let's say, meron akong rectangular beam. So, it is reinforced on the tension side. Ayan. So, kung concrete lang yung involved dito sa pagkuha natin ng cracking moment, ibig sabihin, while computing, we will disregard kung ano man yung rebars na nakapaloob dun sa concrete na yun. So, purely concrete lang. Kung ano yung cross-section ng concrete, yun lang yung kukunin natin. Then, alam natin na ang neutral axis ng rectangle is nasa gitna. So, let's say this is uh, the base or B and this will be height H. So, kung kukunin natin, first yung gross moment of inertia, that will be IG is equal to, that is, BH cube over 12. Kinocube natin yung H kasi siya yung dinaanan ng neutral axis. So, from the principle ni statics, then 
yung FR natin dyan, syempre, yan yung 0.62 lambda square root ng F prime C. And, yung Y sub T natin, syempre, uh, H over 2 yan. Pero, ang kukunin natin is, let's say, positive yung moment, ang tension side natin is yung nasa baba. So, kung negative naman yung moment na allowable, uh, ang kukunin natin H over 2 or kung nating distance is yung nasa taas. So, that will be the Y sub T which is H over 2. So, kapag nakuha na natin yung crying moment, uh, na-determine na natin yung magnitude niya. So, we must compare this one to the allowable moment. Si allowable moment, yan yung nakuha natin by computing the load combination then proceeding to structural analysis yung beam natin. So, uh, dyan natin i-compare yung cracking moment natin. So, kung ang M allowable is lesser than the cracking moment, ibig sabihin, the concrete is uncracked. Pero kapag yung moment allowable natin is mas malaki sa MCR, so minsan ginagawa ko is sinasama ko na si MCR, so kapag nag-equal uh, sila, we say that this will cut. So, yun yung tendency ng allowable moment and nung uh, cracking moment. So, dito natin na-determine uh, na kung crack or uncrack yung uh, concrete tension side. So, yung tension side lang yung nagka-crack sa concrete, hindi yung buong cross-section niya. Alam natin kasi na malakas si concrete sa compression. So, to further explain this one, so, punta tayo kapag yung concrete mo is crack. So, this one is the concrete crack. So, syempre, galing ito lah, uh, this is a singly reinforced. So, ibig sabihin, this is reinforced on its tension side. So, let's say, the tension side is at the bottom. So, and sya. So, kung yung tension side natin is at the bottom, we need to convert the steel into an equivalent mo, uh, concrete. Then, kung crack sya, ibig sabihin, RM allowable, is greater than our MCR or greater than or equal to our MCR. So, ibig sabihin, yung tension side ng concrete natin is nag-crack na or i-disregard na natin. So, as you can see, there is a part of our concrete section na tinanggal na natin. So, ang natira na lang on the tension side will be yung steel or yung equivalent concrete nung steel natin. So, ibig sabihin, we will change our steel into an equivalent concrete by multiplying the modular ratio to the area of the steel. So, this will be NAS. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, saan nababasag yung concrete natin on the tension side? So, mula neutral axis hanggang extreme compression, uh, extreme tension fiber rather. So, Ibig sabihin, itong side na to, yan na yung neutral axis natin mismo. Kasi, uh, mula, mula dyan hanggang baba, or hanggang extreme side ng tension, basag na yun kasi nag-crack na yung concrete natin. So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to is the compression ng concrete. O yung compression side ng concrete. So, yun na lang yung natira. So, syempre, masasolve natin yun. So, masasolve natin to kapag equal na yung cross-section. So, ibig sabihin, pares na silang concrete. Kasi hindi natin masasolve yan dito kung concrete yung isa, steel yung isa. So, masasolve natin yan. Kailangan natin i-convert yung concrete, uh, yung steel into concrete sa pamamagitan nito. 
So, equivalent concrete na siya. So, yan ngayon yung procedure kapag ang single reinforce is cracked. Ngayon, paano naman kung uncracked? So, punta tayo dun sa second figure. So, let's say, ito na yung uncracked. So, kung uncracked yan, mapapansin nyo, yung part natin on the tension side is syempre, nandun pa rin. Kasi nga uncracked. So, ang nangyari, or ang mangyayari na ngayon, is syempre, yung dating steel, so, ito yun, yung bilog-bilog, nag-cause yan na mabutas yung konkreto natin. Or yung equivalent concrete natin na steel. So, ang tendency nyan is kailangan natin ibawas yung but, mga butas na yan dun sa equivalent concrete ni steel. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, ibig sabihin, kung dati, or kung ang conversion ng steel into concrete is NAS, ibabawas ngayon natin yung mga butas which is AS. So, ibig sabihin, to convert that steel into its equivalent concrete area, ang kailangan natin is N minus 1 times AS. So, ibig sabihin, this concrete on the tension side will be N minus 1 AS. So, unlike dito na diretso natin siya ang convert Dito, ibinawas pa natin yung nabutas na or yung bilog na butas na ginawa ng mga bakal. So, yun ngayon yung tendency kasi nga, hindi basag yung concrete natin on our tension side. So, ganun yung nangyayari kapag hindi basag yung concrete on our tension side. Now, after this one, we must proceed. Hindi kagaya dito, meron ka ng NA. So, magkakaroon ka na lang dito ng Y para hanapin kung nasaan yan. Ngayon, maghahanap pa tayo dito kung nasa ng neutral axis from the bottom and from the top. Kasi yun yung gagamitin natin to get oh, this is top, ito Y bottom. Yun kasi yung gagamitin natin to get a transformed cross section or transformed inertia. By the way, these cross sections are called transformed sections. So, lahat ng makukuha mo dyan is transformed centroid, which is ito yung nahanap natin, or transformed neutral axis, then yung transformed moment of inertia, using uh, this figure, makukuha natin yung transformed inertia, and yung transformed stress ni steel. Kasi si steel lang naman yung transform natin into an equivalent concrete. So, yan ngayon yun for concrete and crack. Now, paano naman kung doubling reinforced na siya? So, on the part ng uncrack sa doubly reinforced, so, syempre, we assume that yung nasa top is compression, yung nasa bottom is tension. So, let's say, ayan nga, meron tayong rebar or meron tayong beam, tapos may rebar ka sa taas at may rebar ka sa baba. So, ngayon, uh, let's say, compression at the top, tension at the bottom. So, ang tendency, kapag i-convert natin yung steel nyan into an equivalent concrete, yung nasa baba, since hindi pasag yung concreto, that is automatically N minus 1 AS. Paano naman yung nasa taas? Eh, that is 2N. Tapos may concrete part pa rin siya or hindi basag yung concrete doon. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan din natin gawin kung ano yung ginawa natin on the tension side. So, ibig sabihin, if the conversion of the compression bar into an equivalent, uh, equivalent concrete is 2N AS, kailangan natin ibawas ulit yung uh, area ng steel na nabutas sa kanya or binutas niya so, that will be 2N 
minus 1 AS. Kasi nilabas lang natin si AS. So, this one now will have an equivalent concrete section na 2N minus 1 A prime S, by the way. That is A prime S. Kasi A prime S stands for the compression steel area. So, yun ngayon yung pagkakaiba nung double reinforce sa single reinforce. Now, paano kong crack na? So, kung crack naman na siya, syempre, yung tension side natin, so, nawala na yung concrete doon. So, ibig sabihin, ang transform steel area natin, or tension steel area natin, doon sa bottom side, is N my, uh, NAS lang. Wala ng N minus 1 AS. Kasi nga, wala namang concrete na doon sa part na yun. Wala na tayong kailangan ibawas na nabutas sa kanya. Then, paano naman yung compression side or yung compression reinforcement? So, syempre, laging may concrete dyan. So, ibig sabihin, ang laging conversion ng steel part natin dyan will be, since that is con uh, compression, or compression bar, that is 2N minus 1 AS. So, uncrack, mapa-uncrack, or mapa-crack, yun yung conversion natin for uh, the compression side, or N minus 1 A prime S. So, yan ngayon yung lagi nating mga conversions for doubly, singly, crack and uncrack. So, by the way, singly is... Uh, siya lang yung reinforcement or siya yung reinforced concrete beam na may bakal on the tension side. Pero kapag sinabi natin doble, uh, doble reinforced, siya yung uh, reinforced concrete beam na may bakal sa tension side, may bakal sa compression side. So that will be all for the concept of the crack and non-crack pantry. So, uh, again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.